Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Erica. Hi. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of, we'll keep making kind of a fashion shot a little bit. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about specular highlights um, and diffusion and that kind of stuff. So uh, Erica has this beautiful dress and we decided we were going to shoot something in the window, something kind of airy. Um, and I wanted to use my uh, HMI constant light because uh, it's a nice way to work sometimes to use a constant light in a daylight studio. And what I immediately did, which is what a lot of people would do immediately, is I put some diffusion in front of it because that kind of gives a nice even, you know, skin tone and everything. It's kind of a good go-to. But then I started looking at the dress itself and also the makeup that she's wearing that has like a nice glow to it. And her skin has a nice glow. And I thought, you know what, the, maybe we should go with something more specular. So first I'm going to start this way to kind of show you guys where I was at and where I think a lot of people would start. And then we're going to make it a little bit funkier, I think. So I'm coming back here. I've got my, uh, my Fuji uh, GFX 50R here on the tripod fitted with the 110. And what I'm going to do is I'm just basically... Um, take half a step forward for you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, nope, forward towards the light, sorry. Good, um, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to basically look through the back, get an exposure that looks good to me. Um, I'm at uh, F2, because I want really kind of shallow depth of field. And I'm shooting at about a 1 60th of a second, uh, 1 60 ISO, I should say, at 1 25 of a second. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that gives us a base to start with. So she's a little bit dark, right? Uh, but not really, her skin tone's a smidge down, so I'm just gonna grab my slider here. Exposure slider, bring it up to where I think it would look good, which is probably like right around there. So let's see, that's about uh, two thirds of a stop. So I'm gonna do it with ISO, because I, I don't want to, to, to have any blur, and you know, these cameras are tremendously good at higher ISO, so I'm not really that worried about it. So there we go, we've got kind of a nice shot. Looks decent, she's sharp, it's nice and, uh, you know, soft and even over her whole body. You can see detail. And it's kind of a pretty shot, right? It's decent. Um, we'll shoot a couple like this because why not, right? We're already set up. Once you set it, might as well shoot, right? Good. So a couple of things we have going on. Uh, your hands out a little bit. There we go. Uh, bring your right hand in a bit. There we go. Perfect. Good. Good, good, good. So, of course, I've got my focus spot set right on her face. And I'm just refocusing each time because I'm shooting it off too. So that all looks good and fine. But again, we were talking about it, and I thought this is kind of very catalogy and very clean, right? But we wanted something a little more fashion-y, a little more advertising, as I like to call it. So let's get rid of this thing. So this is the diffuser. It's out. By the way, this is the Last Delight uh, pop-up diffuser. This is the uh, Data Light 400 HMI. So I basically got it now pointed right at her. It's kind of like the sun coming down. And what's kind of cool about this is it's going to actually, without diffusion now, it's going to bring up more specular highlights. It's also brighter, so that's going to help effect. And you can play around with the shadows and stuff. Now, you'll notice probably that the, so I'm just dialing my ISO down. I'm going to go ISO 100, I think, to start. You'll notice that the dress has nice detail. And now what we're getting is more of that detail, right? We're getting all the shapes and everything because basically all these little jewels are starting to pop out. Also, the makeup on her face is nice and glowy and beautiful. And the shadow's working. You know, we're, because this is more of a fashion shot, we can pose her so that she has a good shadow on her. Now, if I was just making a regular portrait, this might not be ideal because clearly, you know, she can't look right at me or she'd have bad light on her face right now. But as a fashion shot, this can be very powerful. We can see that this is very nice. Bring your hand in a tiny bit. There we go. Good. Right there. Beautiful. One more. Good, good, good. Easy as that, right? Take a quick look. Nice, she's nice and sharp, and I mean, again, look at that specular highlight. And I'm not blowing it out, that's what you want to be careful of, right? You want your specular highlights to be there, but you want them to have detail. And of course, actually, your hair has specular highlights too, and you can actually see how it makes her hair separate. So yeah, it's good, right? Something simple. I think a lot of times we try to avoid highlights blowing out or shadows too dark, but those are the things that can actually make your photo stand out and be more powerful if you use them correctly. So. I'll put Erica's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer. Make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV, ring the bell and all that. And I'll see you next time on set.